In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at an effect called AI Portrait. With AI Portrait, you can separate your subject from the background without using chroma keys or masking. So let's get started and see how this effect works. I have five videos here. Each of them are different. Let's take a look at our examples. The first video we have our subject and the subject is the shadow, but it's clearly separated between the background. You can see the contrast between our subject and the color that's behind. In the second example, we have two subjects, but the background is quite similar to the clothing that the subjects are wearing. So we will see how AI portrait works on this. For the third example, again, we have a solid background and there is a clear contrast between the subject and the background. So we can use this and see how AI portrait works on this. Now this is an ideal example where your subject is again separated from the background, meaning that the background does not contain similar colors and it's not too crowded for it to be considered a part of the subject. You can see the subject stays within the frame at all times and nothing gets in front of her. And finally, we have this video of a tiger just slowly making its way to the camera. We will see how AI Portrait works on this too. So let's start with our first example. You can see a proxy file was created for all of these videos, except for this one. That is because I turned on the option that automatically creates proxy files when a file is larger than uh, I believe we set it to HD. So this right here is HD, but the others are larger than HD or 1920 by 1080. So that's why all of them have the proxy uh, symbol and this one doesn't. Let's bring in our first video. Let's delete empty tracks, head over to effects, film stock, AI portrait. And these are the options that we have. Now they all have a diamond next to them, meaning that they are paid features, but we're going to see how they work. There are nine options for us, and we're going to start with the most simple one, which is human segmentation. This option allows me to separate my human from the background. Drag it onto your video. Let's set a white sample color underneath. Lock my sample color. You can see that it did separate the subject, but the edges are a bit uh, odd. So you can double click and fix this in the options. So video effects, video effects, human segmentation. If I uncheck this, you can see we are not getting that effect. Here we have two sliders for edge thickness and edge feather, which we need to work with both. So edge thickness is how uh, thick the edges are. If you go to the left, you're going inwards until you're getting nothing. If you go to the right, you're adding to the edge. So if you want to add like a nice color around your subject, this could be a nice uh, effect. Maybe you want to do some sort of paper animation on the side. This would go nicely with that animation. And then we have edge feather, which is how sharp those edges are. We're talking about this area right here, all around. Right now it's on zero, so you can see it's pretty sharp. But if I drag the slider to the right, I'm going to soften out those edges until it's blurred out, but my subject is still sharp. So it's just talking about the edges. This is quite nice. You can use this one for, let's say, a neon outline. That would go nicely. Let's hit OK. Head over to Effects. Look for Glow. Add it on top. And now I have like this neon effect, which I can intensify by double clicking and adjusting the radius. So this was before, this is after. 
You can make a copy of this, Command C, Command V. Drag it on top, double click on the top video, and head over to Effects. Remove the edge feather completely, and also set the thickness to zero. You can also remove the glow from the top video. So we still have our subject the way it was. We just have glow on this layer. So this is without the glow, with the glow. Without the top layer, you can see the glow affects the subject as well, which you could keep if you'd like. And this is with the top layer, so we can keep the original lighting of the video. Let's hit OK and try another example. Let's try our second video that has a background similar to what these subjects are wearing. Head over to Effects, AI Portrait, Human Segmentation. So it did a pretty good job. We definitely need to work with the edges here. Double click and work with the sliders. And there we are. You can hit OK, readjust the sliders to your liking, and now I have separated my subjects from the background. You can see the sides kind of, you can see that it's moving, and this is only because we had a similar background. So as Filmora is analyzing this clip, it's kind of confused as to what part is for the subject and what part is for the background. Let's try to um, add another AI portrait effect, human border, add it on top, and we can double click. And you can work with the sliders here. I'm going to remove it and place it separately on top. Double click and then work with things here. We have the size of this border. Uh, let's change the color so we can see. I'm going to choose this green. You can choose any other color that you'd like. Green. Close this. End color. Choose another one. You can see we have a gradient going on. Let's choose this blue. Close this, and now we can adjust the size. Do you want it to be thin, or do you want it to be thick? It depends on your preference. Let's make it a 6.05. You can blur out the edges, or keep it sharp. You can adjust the opacity of the border. This is 100. If you drag it to the left, you're fading the border out. And at zero, you have nothing. Let's bring it back to 100. We have gradient direction. Right now it's from green to blue, but you can change it from, change the direction of the gradient. So we have green to blue. The blue is right here. Half green, half blue. And you are just changing the direction that the green turns into the blue. Let's change the end color so we can see the gradients better. You can see green to red. And you are just changing the directions. The final two sliders are edge thickness. This is the thin version. This is the thick version. Now, if you want to increase the size here, you would have to go up to size. Change the thickness to your liking. Maybe do something like this or keep it as it was. You can work with the feathering of those edges. And we're talking about this edge, not this one. The inside. So you can make it 
sharp or a bit more feathered. If you want to change the outside of this line, you would have to go to blur. This is without the human border. This is with the border. Let's try our next example. Add your preferred AI portrait. Maybe I can put neon flow this time. So these neon lines are going around our subject. Double click and you have the options. We have the thickness of these lines. the zoom start node because it's going in one way and it's just circling around, you can see. So you can choose how uh, thin or thick the start is. I will keep mine at zero. We have the same option for the end node. We have the alpha start node. can see it's affecting the color. If I set it to 1, that's what we're getting. I also brought the end to 1, so let's see how that looks when both of them are 0. So it looks a little weaker. You can set the duration. Right now it's at 0 0.07. Change the duration if you'd like. Change the occlusion if you'd like, which is how bright and glowy this is. And the segment. Pull this back at full. Play it again with uh, the default. If you put it to full, you're closing the space, so I would recommend sticking with the default. And then we have section length, which is the length of your line. If you want it to be one line, you can increase this to full, or keep it like little dots, and just adjust it to the way you like. Then finally, we have the color of the glow. Right now it's green. You can make it any color that you'd like. I'm going to hit reset and keep the settings that Filmora gave me. Hit OK and I will pair this with a multi-screen. Maybe this one. And make it look like this guy is at a party. All right, let's take a look at our other examples. Let's try some other things like human glitch, add it on top, and now this human is glitching. Command Z, try another one like lightning flash. We have human pixelate. You can pixelate your subject. And lots of other uh, effects that you can add to your humans. I can try human segmentation and you can see how this works the best because we can clearly identify the subject from the background. You can go ahead and make this perfect by working with the sliders. Now let's take a look at our final example, which is not human. Let's add the segmentation first. So this works right, but at certain points you can see it just disappears. Let 
Let's try something else like neon ring. This works better. Command Z. Let's try the glitch. So it works fine, but at some points it may uh, be disturbed. So you can just work with the parts where it looks nice. So even though it says human here, you could also use it on pets, as long as they are clearly visible and they do not blend with their background. If you had a dog sitting in front of a white background, it would work better. It would even be better if the dog wasn't moving as much. So with the AI portrait, you can do these cool effects. Uh, let's try something that you would do with a green screen. Let's drag this image, scale it in, and add one of the videos on top. Human segmentation, and now she's in this new location. So I didn't have to search for a green screen in order to separate my subject. You can go ahead and color grade this to make it more realistic. And that was how you can use the AI portrait effect to separate subjects from their background without using green screens. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.